Good morning, boys and girls. We welcome to another beautiful Sunday the Lord has made so that we can rejoice and worship him. Today we'll be learning more about obedience. And teacher Joanne and teacher Yvonne will be telling us more about obedience. Uh, teacher Paminas will help us in singing. So welcome. Join me as we worship the Lord. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Teacher Charles. Hi, boys and girls. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God, God is, is good, good and, and that's, that's his nature. nature. Wow. <laughs> so we are so happy to be here this day once again. And of course, I'm joined by Teacher Yvonne. Teacher Yvonne, please say hi to the people. <laughs> Hello, kids. I hope you guys are keeping safe. You guys are doing your homework. You're being good boys and girls. Yes. Yeah, so Teacher Yvonne, we are so happy to have you here once again. And before we go very far, we shall start with a word of prayer led by Teacher Yvonne. Okay, thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this beautiful morning that you've given us. We pray that you may uh, open your children's ears so that they can listen to the word that you have given us to, uh, to provide for them. We pray that they may understand and they may um, come out with a good lesson. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for that. And now we're going to start with a song as we prepare to listen to the story. And the song is called Obedience. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Doing exactly what the Lord commands, doing it happily. Action is a key, do it immediately, joy you will receive. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. O B E D I E N C E. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. O B E D I E N C E. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. So, thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining us in singing that beautiful song. And I hope we all listened to the message of that song. It says obedience is the best way to show that we believe. Mm -hmm. And this ties to our lesson for the day, which is on obedience. God commands and we need to obey. So I want all of us to sit down now as we get into the story. Put your hands together like this. Tell everyone in the house to keep quiet. We're listening to teacher's story. Okay. Mm -hmm. A long, long, long time ago, there was a king. Mm -hmm. And this king was called King Saul. King Saul to Chaivon, he ruled over the people of? The people of Israel. Yes, King Saul ruled over the people of Israel. And in that same land, there was a prophet. Mm -hmm. The prophet's name was Prophet Samuel. So in those days, God would send the prophet to go and pass messages to his people. And this one time, God sent Prophet Samuel to King Saul, and he had a message for him. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that message was? No. The prophet was to tell King Saul to go and attack the land of the Amalekites and destroy everything and destroy everyone on that land. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when God was saving the people of Israel, when he took them away from Egypt mm -hmm. and were, they were on their way to Canaan, the Amalekites um, attacked the Israelites and they killed so many of them. They murdered so many women and children and men and God was so angry about this because the people of Israel are God's people. Mm -hmm. So God told King Saul, God told uh, the prophet Samuel to go and tell King Saul to go and attack the people of Amalekites because of that sin which they had done. Mm -hmm. So Tchaivon tell us, when prophet Samuel went to King Saul, what happened after that? So King Saul went, did as he was told, mm -hmm. and he went to the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. So he went and killed the people, he went and killed all the people, and he killed all the animals. Mm -hmm. but, but there's one thing that King Saul did not do. Mm -hmm. He spared the king, 
and he also spared the animals, the great and the best animals in the land. Wait, but I thought God said he should destroy everything on that land. Yes, that's what God told him to do. But he still spared the life of King Agag of the Amalekites and he still spared the best animals. Can you imagine? That just shows how King Saul went mm. and disobeyed God's commands and went and took the best of the best animals for himself. I can imagine how angry God must have been. He when God makes a command, he expects all of us to obey. Mm. So God, of course, when he saw what King Saul had done, had done, he became so annoyed and he sent the prophet Samuel back to King Saul. So the prophet went to the king and the prophet asked King Saul, King, did you do everything as the Lord had commanded? Yes, I did. Huh? Are you sure? Then how come I can hear the sounds of cattle? I can hear some cows, I can hear some sheep. Didn't you say you destroyed everything? I did destroy everything, mm. but I saw the best animals there and the best cattle. So I said, let me take this cattle and take it as a sacrifice to God. Let me not kill them. Let me spare them. Why didn't God command? And when God makes a command, we need to follow. Mm. So why would you do that? Because I saw the best of the animals and wanted to give them as a sacrifice to God. Prophet Samuel could not believe his ears because he knew very well that God had made his command clear that King Saul was to destroy the whole land of the Amalekites and everybody in it. Mm -hmm. And Prophet Samuel spoke to King and told him, obedience is better than sacrifice. God requires our obedience more than he is interested in our sacrifices mm -hmm. because when we listen to him, we are able to do according to his will. Mm -hmm. And this same lesson applies to us today. All of us have been given the same command by God to be obedient, to obey our parents. And even in the Bible, it says, children, obey your parents. We're required to obey God's commandments and we're required to live according to his instructions because that is what he requires of us. But could you give us examples of how we can do this, Chayvon? So how you can do this is mm -hmm. when we are at home mm -hmm. and your mommy sends you mm -hmm. to get a cup for her in the kitchen, do you tell her, no, mommy, I'm tired, I don't want, mm -mm. no. You run to the kitchen, get her a cup and give it to her. Yeah. And also in school, when the teacher gives you a class assignment and tells you, you need to do this. You tell them, no, teacher, you don't tell them that. At no, teacher, I don't want to do the, uh, the homework mm -hmm. and we want to watch TV, I want to watch cartoon. No, don't tell the teacher that. You do the assignment and then you give the teacher and then now you can watch cartoon after. And that is what is called obedience. But what happens when you disobey? In the same way, God uh, punished King Saul by taking away the kingdom of Israel away from him because of his disobedience. In the same way, when mommy sends you somewhere and you refuse to go, she takes her mwiko and she beats you because every, every action of disobedience is going to be punished in the mm. same way God punished King Saul. Yes. So let us all, all remember always to be well behaved, to obey our parents, to obey our teachers, and to do that which is required of us by God because that is all God wants from us. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for being part of this beautiful lesson. And I hope we'll all remember this and put these uh, actions into our daily lives. So we shall finish with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you so much for this lesson which you have spoken unto us. Thank you for reminding us on the importance of obedience. And we pray, my Father, that we shall guide us, that we shall always do that which is according to your will, that we shall always listen, and we shall always be ready to do that which you expect of us. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, boys and girls, before we go, we have one very important and very useful presentation by George. So let's welcome George to come and present. My name is called George Wanena Eva. I have a movie verse. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 C. It says, To obey is better than sacrifice, and to him is better than fat of rams. Thank you. My name is called George Wanaina. My name is Kila Wanjuhi. My name is James Mozonga, and we have a song. Obey, 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 obey the Lord. Obey, 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 obey
presentation and I hope all of us at home are remembering to read our Bibles every day so that we can hear what God's message is to us. So let's end our class by saying the grace. May the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you boys and girls and see you again next time. Bye! Bye.